cost of equity when it comes to cost of equity we have uh, two approaches number one based on dividend model number two based on CAPA model that is capital asset pricing model okay so again within dividend uh, we have two models one it is no growth model the other one is called as growth model and CAPM yes we have only one now so first what we'll do we'll take uh, cost of equity KE using dividend no growth model using dividend no growth model okay in such case what is going to be the formula cost of equity is going to be D1 divided by P0 this is going to be the formula so what is this D1 D1 is nothing but expected dividend D1 is nothing but expected dividend but as I told you this is no growth model so this expected dividend is nothing but it will be same as previous year dividend so I can say D1 will be equal to D0 so in no growth model your D1 is going to be equal to D0 then what is this P0 P0 is nothing but market price okay so if there is any flotation cost associated with issue of equity then that got to be deducted in such case formula will be modified like this d1 divided by p0 minus f where f stands for flotation cost so this is going to be the cost of equity formula when you are following dividend model no growth okay now let's see what is going to be the formula if it is going to be cost of equity dividend growth model if it is going to be dividend growth model so in case of uh, growth model the formula is like this ke is equal to d1 divided by p0 plus g so what is d1 d1 is nothing but expected dividend but since there is a growth element we have we have a formula for d1 d1 is nothing but d0 multiplied by 1 plus g so d0 is past dividend that multiplied by growth will give D1. So this is very critical. So in this way we will find out D1. That D1 got to be divided by P0 and if there is any flotation cost that got to be subtracted. Then what is G? G stands for growth rate. G is equal to growth rate. So how this growth rate can be inferred? It can be inferred by going through past data. By going through past data we will get an idea what is the extent of growth year after year or we can also go by formula based formula we have g is equal to b multiplied by r so what is b what is r b stands for retention ratio b stands for retention ratio whereas r stands for return on investment roi okay so if uh, retention ratio that is retained profit is multiplied with return on investment then automatically we are going to get the growth rate so that growth rate will be applied here in d1 it will also be applied in the cost of equity formula okay so this is going to be the formula for cost of equity when you have dividend growth model okay then you have cost of equity based on capa model that i'll explain